welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jocelyn. If you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and I hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you consider following me on Instagram and TikTok. So I'm fairly new to TikTok, but I'm kind of making my way through and I'm posting a lot about layering fragrances on TikTok and then I try to post them on Instagram as well. So I am super excited today to be talking about one of my favorite fragrances and it's a very popular fragrance. And I'm going to be talking about what is good to layer with this. And it's a long list. This is Ariana Grande Cloud. So this idea was prompted by a recent comment slash question from one of my fabulous subscribers. Thank you so much for your comments. I'm always so happy to hear from all of you. And so this subscriber asked, what is good to layer with Ariana Grande Cloud? And so I, um, I jotted down some, some thoughts and then I'm like, why don't I just do a video on that? Because I have been so into layering stuff lately. And this one is so good with so many things. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. I've got quite a few in front of me here that would go really well with this fantastic fragrance. So Ariana Grande Cloud um, came out a few years ago and it's just been super popular. It's been, it's been compared to Maison Francis Kirkjean's Baccarat Rouge 540, which is a very popular, very expensive niche fragrance. And it has some of those characteristics. It's a little bit similar, but I find it to be sweeter. Um, it's It's got a similar vibe to me. And I think that seems to be the general consensus of most people that I've seen review both fragrances. But this is a really beautiful fragrance on its own. So it's got lavender, bergamot, pear, um, whipped cream, coconut, and it's got a really unique smell. If you've never smelled Baccarat Rouge 540 or the many dupes that are available or this one, it's a very unique smell. It's kind of sweet and salty at the same time. I think Cloud tends to be more on the sweet side than Baccarat Rouge 540, but it's a fantastic fragrance. I've talked about it a lot on my channel and a lot of folks really love it. So I am just going to be experimenting a little bit today. So, um, so anyway, I'm just going to start out and typically you want to um, layer the stronger fragrance first and then put the lighter fragrance on top. So ideally you want to put your stronger fragrance on the bottom and let it dry and then layer your lighter fragrance on top of that. So I'm probably not going to take too much time to let this dry and stuff on paper, but um, this is a pretty strong fragrance. This tends to have like very good longevity. Like for me, I get eight to 10 hours out of cloud. So um, it's typically gonna be the first one that I spray when I'm wearing cloud. So, you know, I just don't get sick of it. Okay, so the first one I have is newish to my collection. This is from Montal and this is Rose Elixir. So this is just so incredibly versatile. It's, so this is a really rose intensive fragrance. It's really beautiful. And I, I just think it's gonna go nicely with um, cloud. So we'll see. And actually this one, this one's pretty strong too. Montal and Mancera uh, tend to be fairly strong fragrances. So, so yeah, this is beautiful. Um, I think this would this would be something if you're really wanting to have something strong that lasts you all day long. This would be a good combination. So you get the rose, and then you get that cloud, the cloud DNA kind of in there too. So I think that's yeah. a good one. I will tell you if it's if it's not good because I don't always pick winners, but I seem to do pretty well. Okay, so the next one I have is from Commodity. And so um, this is Rain from Commodity. It's one of my favorites from the line. So I said in my response to my dear subscriber that Commodity and Pinrose are two lines that I think would re layer really nicely with Cloud because they tend to be more linear and I still love them, but they are, they tend to be more linear lines of fragrances. Um, and so and so because of that, I believe that both Commodity and Pinrose were made with the intention of layering with each other. So, so Rain is a beautiful, clean, kind of fresh out of the shower floral, and it layers beautifully with Cloud. It's just adding more florals to Cloud. So that's a beautiful combination. Um, cloud is one where you can really wear it year round. Um, it may be a little bit cloying in very high temperatures and very... Um, hot weather, but generally it does pretty well most of the year. So maybe, but anyway, rain is a good combination with cloud. I would say that was a success. From Nest, this is Cocoa Woods. So I thought chocolate would be kind of a good combination with um, cloud. 
and and this is as you may imagine with the name Cocoa Woods very chocolatey um, so so yeah it just gives a very delicious gourmand vibe um, I would see this as being something it's not particularly sophisticated but I don't know that I would call cloud sophisticated um, it's fun I think it's not very serious I don't think it's juvenile either though so anyway, I think Cocoa Woods is good. I mean, add chocolate to a sweet fragrance. How bad could it be, right? <laughs> the next one I have is another kind of gourmand favorite. I just have a, a travel spray of this one. But this is Victor and Rolf Bonbon. Very popular. I think it's pretty similar to Prada Candy, which I actually have coming. Um, okay. So... Um, Victor and Rolf Bonbon, bon, I think, is known for being kind of a sweet caramely fragrance. And so that's good. Um, I would say that's a really nice combination. It just gives more of a... It just gives more candy vibes, kind of, to Cloud. So it's very pretty. It does. I don't think it changes Cloud very much. So I still... I think Cloud is really kind of overtaking this one, but... It's not bad, it's nice. And that I called out is the Ralph Lauren Big Pony line. So I have Big Pony 2, and this one has um, cranberries and tonka. So I thought that would be kind of a nice combination. I keep smelling, it's like, it's the same every time. Okay. Oh yeah, I really like that. So that just, um, of course, adds more fruit. Um, and this is a sweet fragrance, you know, cranberries. This would be like the sweetened cranberries in the, um, in the can that comes out in a, <laughs> in a form fitted can shaped, um, cylinder, but this is a really nice combination. So, um, this is definitely a winner, probably one of my favorites so far. I think rain was a beaut. I really like this one and I really liked rain and cocoa woods. This one, this one almost may be a little too strong to pair with Cloud because Cloud is already strong, but this was a good one. <laughs> okay, this is from Jenny Glow and it's called Mimosa and Cardamom and it's um, a dupe for Jo Malone, Mimosa and Cardamom. And um, I think actually Jo Malone was kind of made with the intention of layering too. I think they tend to be more on the linear side and I really love this. I'm loving this um, mimosa cardamom. So it's very pretty. It's um because I love this fragrance. So it just so you can get both coming through. They're delicious. You get the floral from the mimosa. It's um hmm, has it bumped out? I think it's bumped out to Big Pony 2 for my favorite so far. Because I just love this. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was a really good one. I've got eccentric molecules eccentric 04 so the eccentric molecules line has two lines there's the molecules and the eccentric molecules are the very simple ones the eccentric are a little more complex this is one of the eccentric ones from eccentric molecules and it's 04 i don't think it's terribly complex but it's really nice hmm that's interesting so this is this is really a woody so this is actually combining cloud with something very woody. And I really like it. It's it's a totally different take than some of these other sweet gourmands. So this kind of really tames down the sweetness of cloud. So this would be a really nice, um, I think everything is gender neutral, but of course this one's marketed to women, but guys can wear this too. Anyone can wear anything they like, as long as you're not hurting yourself or anyone else. <laughs> Where would you like? Um, this is a great combination for um, guys or anyone. So that was definitely a winner. Got, I gotta remember these. Then I decided to try CK1. This is actually the original CK1, even though it's in a special edition bottle. And this is just a really delicious, fresh. Mm, I love CK1. And it's, um, I think it's a great pairing. 
because it just amps up the this doesn't have a lot of sweetness it's really more refreshy so this just adds a little sweetness to the um, CK1 so that's that's really nice I also said that um, I thought that something amber intensive or something vanilla intensive would be a good pairing with cloud so we'll try my one of my favorite vanilla fragrances, which is Van Cleef & Arpels Orchidée Vanille. Very highly talked about on YouTube. So you've probably heard of it. And um, I found this doesn't have great lasting power. So I think the cloud, cloud would really help in that department. And I think it's good. It's very, very pretty. You can get the vanilla, the added florals. Um, so that's a nice combination. And of course, these are going to perform very differently on skin. I'm just doing paper tests right now, but they may perform very differently on skin. So they're not guaranteed, but I'm just giving my first impressions on paper. And now for my amber intensive fragrance, I've got Ellie Saab Essence Number no. 3 Ombre, which is my favorite heavy amber fragrance. Mm. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. So this is very spicy dark so the um the cloud just makes it sweeter more lighthearted, not quite so intense but still i think and i think this would help the longevity i get pretty decent longevity from this one but i think cloud can only help that so this is beautiful um I, this is very strong so this they they are competing for attention i think but i think it's a good combination the last one I have here today, but really the possibilities are endless. Um, the last one I have is Pinrose by Pinrose. So this is a very rosy fragrance, very nice. That is beautiful. So I think Rose goes well with Cloud. This is beautiful. Um, so I'm going to have to experiment with cloud mixed with more roses. I have a lot of rose fragrances. And this is beautiful. Um, so this is probably one of the better lasting fragrances from Pinrose. Sometimes Pinrose doesn't last very well, but this one lasts decently. And that's a gorgeous combination. So anyway, I just wanted to put it out there because I just like, again, this is just such a gem. It's pretty inexpensive. I think if you pay full price, you're going to pay like around 60 for a 3.4 ounce bottle, but you can find it for cheaper on Fragrance Net, Fragrance Buy, Fragrance X, those type of sites. And um, it's just a fabulous fragrance. It goes with so many things and I love it. I can't imagine not having it. And um, it's an easy reach. It goes with so many things. This is just a little sampling. I could have gone overboard and probably made uh, an hour long video <laughs> on things that go well with cloud but what have you found have you found any um any great pairings with cloud or any other great pairings in general i'm always interested in different layering combinations so thank you so much for being here today i really appreciate it and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't and i'll see you again very soon thanks